clear or not clear, focused or distracted, what's gonna happen? Time is gonna go by. And you're either gonna look back, look over your shoulder and say, you know what? I'm so glad I have something to show for. See how sweet the taste of victory is? I got championships. Never short stopping, now I'm winning like I'm Jida. Steady through the rigor, yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches, now I'm making seven figures like. So I often get asked, Matt, if you can go back in time in this journey of becoming a first generation cash flow millionaire, what would you change and what would you do different? I found it to be one thing. Had I known about this one thing, I would have taken my time to really wrap my mind around this one key area because it would have saved me a whole lot of time, money, emotional grief, everything had I spent more time with this one thing. And once I did get it correct, it made me jump out of bed early in the morning after having a hard time going to sleep at night because I was just so stinking fired up about my day. So what is this one thing you ask? It's clarity. Yes, clarity. So let me ask you a question. If I said, come by my office and visit with me, so I, therefore I can coach you, mentor you, and help you connect the dots in your business, so therefore you can become a first generation cash flow millionaire much more sooner and faster, come to Dallas. You'd probably ask, which airport? And then after that, well, what's your address? Wouldn't you? Or well, let's say you're here in Dallas already. Matt, what's your address? Why? What would you do with my address? You plug it into your GPS. You plug it into your GPS, so therefore you can get door to door directions and simultaneously, based on the advancement of some of these applications, you can avoid traffic. And along the way, if you're short on gas, you can find gas. Along the way, you can be diverted to different routes, so therefore you're not wasting unnecessary time, energy, money, frustration sitting in traffic. See, that's what you do if you knew my address. In other words, you had clarity and how to get from your door to my door. So why wouldn't the same principle matter when it comes to the clarity you have of where you are today to where you want to go? You see, it's customary that after our workshops and meeting nights here at our office, we do these twice a week. We have free financial literacy classes, entrepreneurship classes, leadership development classes, financial 101 classes. And we do that two times a week. Many times I do this myself here in Dallas. Oftentimes I uh, do it in different parts of the country. The offices we have coast to coast. And I ask the newest person this question. What are you going into business for? What are you doing this all for? Why take the necessary time to come into a classroom to learn about finances, to learn about money, if you're not going to be clear? Here's what happens where you're not clear about at least the money you want to make. So therefore you can pay off your bills, become debt free. You can have an income way above your expenses. So therefore you got money to tuck away and capitalize yourself to invest into a business and therefore have your money grow and work for you. Ask yourself this question. What does financial freedom look like for you? And everybody's got a different answer to that question. When somebody says, Hey, so Pauly, you're in the Marine Corps now. You want to be financially free? I said, yes. Great. How much is that? In my mind, that's $60,000 a year. Okay. Because I'm making $20,000 a year as a sergeant in the Marines. And if you just triple my income to $60,000, that's a lot of money. My life changes. Same time for the person working in Silicon Valley. You show them how to make $500,000 a year or $800,000. Ah, it's okay. But you show them how to make seven figures. Man, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. So you've got to be clear about where you are today to where you want to go. And here's the part that a lot of people don't like. You have to also be clear about the sacrifices that you have to make in the price you have to pay. You know, I'm wearing glasses right now. And yes, I normally wear glasses. I cannot see very well. I'm blind as a bat if I don't have contacts in or glasses. So if I remove my glasses right now, I, I literally cannot see right in front of me. I cannot see this lens. I see the image about it, but there's nothing clear about it until I what? Put my glasses on. I can tell this is a Canon camera. I can see Ivan is sitting right here. I can see that we're using a Sennheiser microphone to record the session. I can see this green light behind me very clear about the manufacturer, the make and where it's positioned. I'm clear. Why? Because I got my glasses on. So when it comes to you, in your vision to where you want to go financially, in your pursuit of your financial freedom, do you need glasses? And that's okay. And what are those glasses? Are you clear what type of glasses that you need to the depth 
to where you want to go. See that? These glasses? Who's that? That's a mentor. That's a coach. That's systems. That's processes. People that have been there, done that. That's wisdom. That's understanding. It's knowledge. It's application. Those are your glasses. But what depth do you need? Unless you're clear about it, you miss out on all the things I just discussed. And one of the ways that our company helps our people get clarity is by hosting conferences. And a couple years ago, uh, we had the late, great Kobe Bryant come to our event. I was hanging out with him backstage and our CEO interviewed him on stage. And even then he said, even at 12 years old, he was clear that he wanted to be the greatest NBA player of all time. At 12, 12, what do you think about at 12 years old? Kobe Bryant, because he was exposed to a world because his father played professional basketball. His father took him overseas. He learned different languages. He was exposed to what the world had to offer. He already knew at 12 years old, I want to be the greatest player in the NBA. I want to be that guy. And as you see his life, as you saw his career over 20 years, he was willing to pay the price. And oftentimes, I get frustrated with a lot of people because of the casualness of which they take their business. Because the first phase that a lot of people started business is because, for example, this pandemic, because they got laid off from a job, fired from a job, they're just not making enough money, they're just frustrated with the current situation, but yet they don't take urgency. They act loudly, get, okay, I just kind of massage my way into business, you know, I, get, I start this thing on the side, but you know, I flip flop here, I flip flop there, start five businesses, six businesses, 10 businesses, until I find that thing, you know. You know why? Because they're not clear. They're not clear about what they need to make. They're not clear about the work necessary to get it done. They're not clear about the skills they need to acquire. They're not clear about the phone calls they need to make. They're not clear the conferences they need to attend to be a part of. They're not clear. And I often say a lot in my workshops. She and I were having a conversation. When I was a single father of three kids and she and I was a single mom with one kid, blended family together. I said, babe, when do we start feeling freedom? Have you quantified your freedom? Have you quantified how much money you need to make to experience certain freedoms? in America. I asked my wife this question. I said, babe, we started feeling freedom at $250,000 a year. It's like some of you guys are thinking, what? Are you, these guys crazy? Well, think about this. At that time, we were living in Chicago, high cost of living, high food costs, property taxes up to you know what, cost of uh, uh, office space per square footage, cost of gas, everything is high, everything is expensive. She said, babe, it's not like we faced freedom. We faced at least food freedom. Okay, and what's food freedom? I tell people, listen, uh, have you ever gone to a restaurant and you looked at a menu, Psh, right? You sat down and looked over, wow, that looks delicious. I'm, you know, looking, you left the left side of the menu, looking at it, wow, that's delicious. You keep going down the menu, wow, that looks even better. Wow, wow the things at the bottom, they're, they look really good. And your eyes go to the right side of the menu, and what happens? Like, oh, damn. It's 50 bucks for a steak, it's 80 bucks for a steak, it's 100 bucks for a steak, it's 40 bucks for a steak. And what happens? Your eyes go up. Instead of going back to the left, your eyes go back up the menu. When your eyes go up the menu, guess what happens? You start seeing the price get lower and lower and lower because right? you're going up the menu, right? Up, up, up. Oh, okay. I can afford that. You look to the left. What is it? Soup and salad. <laughs> Free bread. Glass of water. See, that's not freedom, man. That's called limitations. And what my wife has explained to me is, babe, we could walk into any restaurant. We can go to Whole Foods. We can get the best foods for our family, for our children get the right to, uh, prescriptions, uh, if our doctor needs us to take some medication if need be, get the right organic type of uh, ingredients into our body, so therefore our bodies have processing better foods, so our nutrition is a lot higher, and we experience that type of food freedom at 250. Now, it might be different for you in Arkansas, it might be different for you in other parts of the world, it might be different for you in Vermont, it might be different for you in Ohio, but 250 in terms of income necessary to have food freedom was 250. Now, we started experiencing a little bit of family freedom, earning $500,000 or more. Why? One side of the family got retired. Next thing you know, another side of the family got retired. We can provide some financial assistance to um, the people we love and care about. Uh, you go to this program, this program, we want this private education, we want this private class, we want this coach. Remember my son at uh, seven, eight years old, he had a private coach. He was coaching college students, D1 college students, but we hired him as a private coach for our son to experience how to play the game of basketball and learn the fundamentals the right way. Because when I was coming up in sports, I wasn't shown the fundamentals from get-go. I didn't have that person early on in my career to show me how to dribble or, or pass or block or tackle or even throw a ball straight. So I'm glad that we had access 
to a coach that can teach and coach my son how to do it right the first time. Because if you want to do things fast, guess what? You do things right the first time. And next thing you know, we started progressing. $750,000 a year, a million dollars a year, and this is what started to happen. You got invited to a lot of weird parties. You get invited to these political action committees, dinners at somebody's houses for $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 a plate, $10,000 a plate. A lot of access to other people who are policy makers and influencers that can help make your community even more free and more enjoyable for you to live in. So with that being said, what tier do you want to live in? You want to live in a $100,000 tier, $250,000 tier, $500,000 income level, or what I just described you earlier, seven figures, where you're helping a lot of people, you're traveling all over the world, you're paying your taxes, you're saving a lot for retirement, you're not dependent on anybody. Life changes a lot when you started making seven figures. And by the way, if I can make seven figures and a lot of my colleagues can make seven figures, my friend, we just did a podcast this weekend with a, a friend of ours, my partner in, in LA, George Palayo, he's making seven figures, half Cuban, half Puerto Rican, started a business when he was 18 years old as a server at Red Lobster. Teddy's a seven figure income earner. Friend Rodolfo and Ceci Vargas, immigrants from El Salvador, was in loss prevention. In other words, security guard. He's 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, he says on a good day. And he went into business, went into entrepreneurship in this wonderful industry that we're a part of. And next thing you know, boom, seven-figure income earner. Our friends Jose and Marlene Gaetan, he used to do corporate collections. She used to do real estate. Never made a million dollars in real estate. Never made a million dollars doing corporate collections. But boom, they get involved with the system and a the process. They make a decision. They get clear. And guess what starts to happen? Boom, seven-figure income. So if it can happen to us, it can happen to you. See, one of the things that I realized is I, I, said, I was so caught up in my 20s. I'm gonna do it my way, I'm gonna do it. I know everybody. I remember when 34 year old guys would approach me and they tried to tell me how to do my thing. And right away I'd reject them. I'm like, no, I got it. I got it, old dude, I got it figured out. Do you know why? Do you know why I did that? Because I just didn't like the way they approached me. And so I know now, being that 30, 40 year old guy, close to 50 year old guy, I know now not to approach a young 20 or 30 year old that way because they automatically reject them. Perhaps I can affect more 20s and 30 year olds by watching this YouTube. As you stumble across, maybe you might want to consider listening to what I have to say to help you get to where you want to go sooner and faster, much more happier, much more enjoyable, with a lot, a lot of grief. Because I spent my entire 30s, my entire 30s, the entire decade, to repay back the mistakes of my 20s. And had I gotten very clear on my priorities of values and principles. I started writing them down. What do I stand for? You know, in the Marine Corps, we talked about honor, courage, and commitment. What else do I value? Do I, do I value this neighborhood? Do I value this car? Do I value this mentor? Yes, no, because some people don't value it. What principles do I follow that no matter what, the test of time happens, no matter in this market, that market, do I have a financial principle to follow that I'm going to be making money no matter what based on this principle of starting a business in this industry or selling this type of product? Those are some of the things that you should consider evaluating what values and principles and mentors you want to follow and allow to influence in your life. So therefore you can get more clear about where you're going, you get more excited about what you're doing, so therefore you avoid any types of burnout. It's a big reason why people like burnout or go into depression because they don't know what the end game is. It isn't supposed to be just grind, 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 grind. That's boring. But once you know what the end game is, we just had a conversation with our CEO, our founder of our company. We had a conversation with him that we have a game plan in the next 10, 11 years to accomplish this. You know what we discussed? Why wait 10, 11 years, Patrick says? Why not compress it into three years? We're like, why not? See, that's clarity. He got us clear about what we wanted. We were clear about what to ask, and he was clear about what to ask us back, and we're clear about the price we're willing to pay, and then why not accomplish in three years what we're supposed to set out in 11 years? And that's the beauty of entrepreneurship. That's the beauty of understanding and mastering the rules in a money game, that once you figure this money game out, once you figure out what you're clear and what you want and what you're clear on doing over the next one, three, five, seven, 10, 20 years, you make a decision. You stick your foot in the ground, you plant a flag in the ground, and now you know what to grind for. As I wrap this up, a few things I want you to consider doing. Take this time, whether it's this weekend or whenever you watch this video, take, take some time. Honestly, take some time. Shut off the phone, grab a cigar, grab a cup of tea, cup of coffee, whatever you want. Whatever it is that you do, so therefore everything is shut out. See, that's a big challenge they have in our society today. 
that you're beholden to, your text messages going off, your phone's going off, your email's going off, your children are screaming, you get so distracted, and guess what takes a hit? Your clarity, your values, your principles, your priorities, and the dreams and goals that you hope to accomplish gets pushed back further and further and further. And next thing you look up, say, yeah, man, I've been doing this for a year. I've been doing this for two years. I've been doing this for five years. How come I'm not anywhere further than when it was when I first started? Do you know what that is? Because you were lacking clarity. Because you lack clarity, you got distracted. So please, I encourage you this weekend or whenever you watch this video, write down a few things. What do you stand for? What are your values? What are your principles? By the way, these things are very, very important, extremely important, not to be underrated. We just spent two and a half days, three days with our guys, founder, CEO, founder of our company, our key partners of our company. We locked ourselves for two and a half days in Jekyll Island, Georgia, to put together the values and principles of our company, what we stand for. We argued and debated over one word in one sentence for hours, just to make sure that sentence was done properly and we can imbibe it and we can be proud of it and we can repeat it over and over and say, you know what, babe? Son, daughter, team member of 30 years from now, this is what our company stood for. This is what our family stood for. We got clear. So please, jot down the answer to these questions. What do you want to accomplish in the next 90 days? What do you want to accomplish in the next year? What do you want to accomplish in the next three years? What do you want to accomplish in the next five years? What do you want to accomplish in the next 10 years? Because here's what I know. Clear or not clear, focused or distracted, what's going to happen? Time is going to go by. And you're either going to look back, look over your shoulder and say, you know what? I'm so glad I have something to show for. See how sweet the taste of victory is? I got championships. People I've helped, people have I assisted. We paid off this house, paid off this car note, we paid off this debt. We retired this person, we created more jobs, we expanded a company. You, my friends, have something to show for. If you're not clear, you're not clear specifically on the price you're willing to pay, so therefore you don't jump out of bed anymore and excited about your goals and dreams, guess what starts to happen? You look back in the same time frame, you look back, nah, you know what? I got nothing to show for, but I got everything to owe for. My question for you is, which alternative would you rather prefer? Something to show for or something to owe for? The choice is yours. That being said, guys, I'll know your thoughts, your comments, your feedback, your takeaways, you agree with me, you don't agree with me. What helps you get clear? Put it in the comment section below. What helps you get clear? And if you are clear, put this in the affirmations below in the comment section. I am clear and taking action about my goals. I am clear and taking action about my goals. Put in the comment section below. I want to know who's clear and taking action to hit their goals. I'd love to see your success. Perhaps in the next episode, we share some of those things that you send our way and we'll include it in the next episode. Before I let you go, guys, watch this video. If you feel like giving up, please check out this video. I encourage you, don't give up. Watch this video. The other video here is billionaire advice from Warren Buffett to help, again, accelerate your success. It's one of the things I talked about in this video. Please check out this video right here. That being said, guys, if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you click like and follow our business page when you're smart guy. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you click subscribe and hit notifications to be alerted the next time we upload our next episode. From Dallas, Texas, I be money smart guy. And until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.